Hi guys, it's Annika here with Tip Ranks. Today we're going to look at two strong buy energy stocks that have a dividend yield of 7%. Kimball Royalty Partners currently has a stock price of $14.65 and the analyst price target for KRP is $17.50. This is a 19.45% upside and this is based on two Wall Street analyst ratings for the next 12-month price target. The recent two analysts are from RBC which has given a $15 price target and Raymond James which has given a $20 price target. The dividends are paid quarterly. The last payment date was in August 2021, so the next one of payment date should be expected to be in November 2021. Right now, the payout ratio is minus 44.66% and it delivers a dividend yield of just shy of 7%. And the dividend amount per share in the last payout was 31 cents. So for a bit of background, Kimball Royalty Partners combines both real estate and energy investing. Kimball invests in land, specifically the mineral extraction rights on land acres in known petrochemical producing basins. The company's portfolio holds interest in over 13 million acres in 28 states and includes properties in all of the major onshore oil and gas basins in the US. Kimball boasts around 97,000 wells, with its largest presence of 41,000 wells in the Texas Permian Basin. Kimball has a huge presence in the United States with 49 active rigs, 98% of all onshore rigs in the lower 48 are in countries where Kimball also holds mineral interest positions and 91% of their production is from the seven premier United States onshore resource plays. In 2021, Kimball saw its earnings situation switch from deep losses to small gains. If we look at some of their investment highlights, this includes a diversified asset base with zero capital requirements needed to support their resilient free cash flow. They also have a cash yield of 8.47%. They have a great tax structure. They also have a prudent financial structure with their net debt to EBITDA of 1.7 times, which shows that they're not overly leveraged. Because they aren't overly levered with too much debt, it means they have a lower risk of not making their interest payments. And they also target a long-term leverage of less than 1.5 times. They also are positioning themselves as a natural consolidator in the supply chain. From Q4 2020 to the first quarter of Q1 2021, the EPS loss shrank from $1.66 to a mere 2 cents. And in Q2 2021, the company reported a modest 4 cent EPS gain. At the top line, revenues troughed in Q2 2020 and have been rising steadily ever since. The Q2 revenues from oil, gas and natural gas liquids came in at 39 million, the highest in over two years. Kimball's rising revenues and earnings have supported a return of strong dividends. They had to cut back on the dividends during the pandemic, but since they have adjusted dividends, they can adjust these and increase these depending on their income. And since their revenues and earnings have increased, they are expected to have great dividend payouts to their investors. Since the second quarter of last year, Kimball has increased their dividend three times, with the current payout of 31 cents per common share, which is annualized to around $1.24. The second strong buy energy stock is Hess Midstream Partners and its ticker is HESM. It is currently priced at $26.03 and its analyst price target is $29 which is an 11.41% upside and this is based on seven Wall Street analysts offering 12-month price targets and it's deemed a moderate buy although I do believe it was deemed a strong buy not too long ago. I also want to point out one of the key things for Hess Midstream Partners is that it has a smart score of nine. So the larger the score, the more likely it is to outperform the market. Nine is incredibly good. So the sentiment for overall bloggers and tip ranks investors is very positive. Hess Midstream is one of the many companies that operates in the midstream of the energy sector. So what this means is that they operate within moving oil, natural gas, natural gas liquids, refined petroleum products from wellheads and refineries to storage facilities, transport terminals, and end users. Hess has a range of assets that covers gathering, processing, and storage, and terminating an export, and it's based in the back and formation of North Dakota. Here below, we can see the back and footprint with all their different facilities, plants, and systems. 
Hess Midstream's main core strengths that have contributed to stable growing cash flow generation include a high quality integrated portfolio that has the ability to scale. They also have secured long term commercial contracts and they have differentiated cash flow stability as well as sustainable distribution growth and a strong balance sheet. In fact, Hess reported gains in the second quarter of this year with 162 million in net income, compared to 108 million in the year ago quarter. Per share, the income came to 44 cents. This is up 51% from Q2 2020. Turning to the top line, Hess reported 294 million in total revenues. This was about 9% above the prior year's second quarter and the highest result in the last two years. Revenues have increased in each of the last three quarters. Hess also pays their dividend quarterly and its last payment date was August 13, 2021. The next expected dividend date should be in November 2021. On the interest of dividends, Hess reported distributable cash flow in Q2 of $207.5 million. This supported a 50 cent dividend payment to common shareholders. With $2 annualized, Hess has been raising its dividend payments regularly over the past few years. So guys, those are the top two strong buy energy stocks that we see with dividend yields over 7%. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when Tip Rank's channel releases videos. Also remember, this is not financial advice. This is purely for educational purposes. Make sure you do your own research before you invest in anything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.